Yellowstone awakens. Again, shocking new eruption at Biscuit Basin raises. Supervolcano alarms. Yellowstone National Park, June 2025, a year after the blast. It has been almost a year since a massive thermal explosion violently tore through Yellowstone's Norris Geyser Basin, leaving a crater the size of a city bus and throwing boiling mud and rock into the sky. That explosion stunned scientists and tourists alike, and in its aftermath, geologists warned the world the sleeping giant beneath Yellowstone was stirring of the magma and where the magma is under Yellowstone and especially how much volatiles are in the magma right now. Now, in June 2025, that warning echoes louder than ever. Earlier this week, a brand new high-definition webcam installed by the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, after last year's blast. captured what can only be described as a chilling sequel. In a sudden and violent event, a hydrothermal explosion tore through the peaceful surface of the Biscuit Basin. Energetic geyser explosions. These happen almost once a year or so. A well-known geothermal area in the heart of the park. What began as a quiet morning under the summer sun ended in chaos as steam, rocks and scalding water erupted into the sky, forming a geyser-like plume caught live on camera for the entire world to witness. The footage, now circulating across Social media and scientific channels alike shows a thunderous blast of superheated water and steam erupting with terrifying force. The explosion was not just dramatic, it was geologically significant. Within moments, the surrounding landscape had changed. Mud rained down over nearby boardwalks and debris littered the area where curious tourists had stood just days earlier. And while no injuries were reported, the area had fortunately been closed off for monitoring. The implications of this event go far deeper than the surface. A surge in hydrothermal violence. Hydrothermal explosions are not new to Yellowstone. The park is riddled with geysers, fumaroles, mud pots and hot springs, all fed by the volcanic heat simmering just beneath the Earth's crust. But what has experts deeply concerned is the rate and intensity of these explosions. Your spring, which had a rare explosion in the upper geyser basin. Over the past 18 months, Yellowstone has seen a notable rise in thermal events. Sudden, violent and increasingly unpredictable. Dr. Lorna Hayes, a lead geologist with the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, described the eruption as small in size but loud in meaning. This isn't just steam venting, she said. This is a warning system. Yellowstone is sending signals. These hydrothermal blasts are pressure release events. And when they start becoming more frequent, it tells us that something beneath is moving. Geologists say that thermal explosions like this occur when underground water rapidly superheats from contact with hot rock or magma transforming into steam so quickly that it fractures the overlying ground. 
but the sudden nature of the event and the ongoing pattern of escalating pressure indicators across the caldera suggests that Yellowstone's geothermal system is entering a new and volatile phase. What's brewing beneath Biscuit Basin? The Biscuit Basin sits just south of Norris Geyser Basin, where last year's explosion occurred, and is known for its colourful pools and explosive geysers. But recent monitoring data has shown unusual thermal anomalies, elevated ground temperatures, increasing gas emissions and significant uplift of the crust. GPS stations in the area have recorded a ground rise of up to 6 centimetres in the last few months, far above normal geothermal inflation. This has led some scientists to draw connections between the recent eruption and broader magmatic movements beneath the surface. We're seeing evidence that heat is moving closer to the surface, said Hayes. That doesn't mean we're facing an eruption tomorrow, but it does mean that we are entering a period of heightened unrest. The magma chamber that fuels Yellowstone's geothermal features is massive, stretching for more than 50 kilometers beneath the park. It contains both molten rock and partially melted crystal mush. According to the USGS, it is not currently eruptible. But with each new thermal explosion, Questions arise. Is the supervolcano awakening? The supervolcano factor. The term supervolcano conjures apocalyptic visions, and for good reason. Yellowstone's last super eruption, 640,000 years ago, blanketed North America in ash and radically altered global climate. Though geologists say such an event is extremely unlikely in our lifetime, the growing geothermal instability is raising eyebrows. Public fascination has surged once again, with the new eruption reigniting concerns across scientific and disaster preparedness communities.